Hello, digital photography students. Today we are going to learn how to do the invert exercise and project. So we're going to start by opening Pixlr and opening the sample exercise. It's called Animal 006. You should have downloaded it to your downloads folder and moved it to your photography folder. Remember, to see our photography folder, we click the little arrow. So here's my photography folder. Here's Animal 006. This is my cat. Well, it was my cat. Once the image is open, we're going to go ahead and desaturate it to turn the image black and white. We do that by going to the adjustments and hitting desaturate. All right. Adjustments, desaturate. That turns the image black and white. Next, what we're going to do is duplicate the layer. So you're going to right mouse click or on the Chromebooks, do a double tap with your fingers, hit duplicate layer. Right now, my background layer is locked. So I'm going to um, uncheck that box, double click the lock button. All right, I'm going to go back to my background copy and I'm going to invert this layer. So I'm going to hit adjustment, invert. This is what makes your black and white image look like a negative. Oh my gosh, it's a scary kitty. Now to make our picture look funky, we're going to reveal the image underneath by drawing a few rectangles and then dropping in a gradient. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing a rectangle and I'm hitting the backspace button. The requirement for the assignment is that you have at least seven stripes in your pictures. Now, a lot of my students, this doesn't work. If this is not working for you, you want to make sure that you are on the top layer that is inverted. My Chromebook has decided to slow down. So I'm drawing a rectangular marquee. I'm drawing a rectangle and I'm hitting the backspace key which is deleting parts of the top layer that's inverted, revealing the background layer underneath. This is my fourth stripe, so I'm going to do three more. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, here's my last one. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. <coughs> I'm going to start a new layer and I'm going to drop in a gradient just to give it a little pop of color. Now, if you notice what's selected is that stripe and I don't want to do that. I want to put a gradient into the entire layer. So I'm going to make sure that nothing is selected. So I'm going to go back and deselect all. All right, so I made a new layer over here called layer two, and I'm going to hit my gradient button. There's lots of different gradients that are pre-made to choose from. Now, remember, if you have a gradient that you want to change, you click one of these color buttons. So then I'm going to go ahead and drop in a gradient. 